Him show viewers, ladies, gentlemen, mammals, all that other good stuff. Um, I'm back. Excuse the hiatus. You know, went on a little vacation. Um, yeah. So, since we starting from the basics again, um, new subscribers, hey, welcome. How y'all doing, old subscribers? Um, something I never kind of covered, I guess I'd say. Fonts, wording, letter tree, whatever you want to call it, whatever word you want to make up, because I don't know if letter tree is a word. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, yeah, something basic that looks pretty good. Here you can see my phrase of the year. It's some hoes in this house. Listen to the song in the background, and you'll understand why. Um, doing something simple with basically a quick gradient. Once you have all your letters laid out, um, any kind of font, any kind of style that you want, you know, feel free to use other colors. I just picked um, orange, yellow, and blue. Ah, orange, yellow, and blue to be bright. Yeah, excuse the tongue tie. Definitely ain't done this in forever. Um, gradient, you know, again, is what you want to do is you want to spray, I guess I'll say high, and then finish out low. You pretty much want to do like a bunch of dagger strokes or like a wide dagger stroke. Uh, leave a comment, you know, or post something if you need me to explain that. I guess I might have to go into um, more detail about that. But yeah, so basically, you see what I'm doing is, you know, I'm fading dark to light. Um, again, that's how it fade in ways, dark as hell at the bottom, my personal preference. Here, I'm coming back over the top with the yellow. Um, I did my outline with the black, you know, you can't spray over black Ooh, big mystery there right yeah great um so now you know the words are essentially finished but something that i did to kind of separate it uh make it look nice kind of dress it up give it a whole new feel is um instead of just like a blue fade all the way around it or like a blue border um they're not really bubbles they're just kind of like circles yeah but we're gonna call them bubbles because that's uh make it sound like i did something extra special you know you don't just want to tell somebody yeah uh i just put a bunch of circles on a t-shirt and sold it to you nah but nah yeah definitely um that's the bubble look then uh just randomly random placement of spraying blue paint you know in between the letters um again i'm gonna do this border the whole way around the shirt and then a couple just kind of free floating bubbles again make it look nice coming back over the side um and if you watch that you see i started in with that light fade then come back in heavier um that quick maneuver adjust your shirt adjust your shirt adjust your shirt you know, I've got um, a handle on the board that I use on that side, so anything I spray, I have to kind of watch. Um, same, going over the bottom, spray it like first. I do that to kind of get a feel for where I'm going to spray it, because, you know, instead of just spraying heavy and hoping that you get lucky, it's kind of like if you spray light, you can work your way into it. Plus, if you mess up or you're not too sure, you can just kind of leave it or maybe get lucky and nobody will notice and then you know again adding a little bit uh more into the blue again i just did this randomly wherever you feel free if this is something that you choose to do just enough to kind of separate it um bring it out some more make it stand out then uh my last idea i came up with is i'm kind of doing dagger strokes within the letters um I put a thick outline on there so it's not really but so much of a dagger stroke because my black line is actually quite thick. Um, and again, that was something kind of random too. So there you have it. Um, comments, feel free to post. Him show, him signing out. NDV Limited. Um, Facebook, Al Seville. Twitter, Al Seville. Shouts out to my guys, AFK and Showdown. I'll uh, leave the links there. Him show signing out.